Let's continue with the fifth episode in the Coin of the Year retrospective series, taking a look at the 1988 Coin of the Year awards for excellence in coin design for coins minted in 1986. First up is the best trade coin, or basically the best circulating coin of the year. This year, there was a tie in this category between Greece and Japan. So let's take a look at the Greek coin first. First issued in this year and serving as the standard circulating 50 drachmas coin up until the year 2000 when it was replaced by the euro 50 cent coin. The reverse features an ancient trireme galley ship sailing across the Mediterranean Sea, while the obverse depicts an artist's impression of the bust of Greek poet Homer, author of such foundational works like the Iliad and the Odyssey, invoking and celebrating celebrating Greece's rich cultural history. Since it is a circulating coin, it has a rather substantial mintage of just over 12 million coins and is struck from an aluminium bronze alloy. The coin that it had to split the award with is a single year circulating commemorative issue from Japan. This 500 yen coin was issued to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Emperor Hirohito as the imperial constitutional head of the state of Japan. The obverse depicts a large stylized chrysanthemum surrounded by texts that translates as State of Japan Imperial Reign of Six Decades 500 Yen. 61st year of the Showa era. While the reverse depicts the profile view of the Kyoto Imperial Shishinden Palace, the coin had a mintage of 50 million coins and is struck from a bog-standard copper nickel. From there, we might as well head directly towards the award for the best gold coin of the year, as that too was awarded to the Mint of Japan for this 100,000 yen gold coin, that too celebrating the 60th anniversary of the reign of Emperor Hirohito. This 20 gram gold coin struck from three nines pure gold only saw an uncirculated or business strike production and in a lot of ways was treated more like a bullion coin with a substantive mintage of 10 million coins. The most historically significant award was bestowed to the Austrian Mint for their 500 shilling commemorative coin celebrating the 500th anniversary of the striking of the very first Thaler coin in the year 1486 struck at the whole mint. The obverse depicts the standard obverse design for Austrian commemorative coins of this era, depicting 10 shields with the coat of arms of each federal state with the national coat of arms at the very top, with the reverse depicting a recreation of the 1486 Gildengroschen in question. There was a reported mintage of 401,000 coins minted in uncirculated strike, with another 99,000 coins in proof, added to the mix for a combined mintage of a half a million coins, all struck from sterling silver. The award for the most artistic coin went to the island nation of Western Samoa, or what is today simply called Samoa. This $25 non-circulating commemorative coin commemorates the Kontiki voyage that took place in 1947, where Norwegian explorer and writer Thor Heyerdahl crossed the Pacific Ocean from South America to the Polynesian Islands on a sail-aided raft largely constructed using pre-Columbian technologies and materials. The obverse is the Samoan coat of arms with the Kontiki depicted mid-journey on the reverse of the 5 ounce pure silver coin. The coin itself carries a mintage of 25,000 pieces from the Singapore mint who walked away with the prize. 
Well, this seems to have been the year for ties, as the next coin won the award for both the best crown-sized coin and the best silver coin as well. This is the Canadian Silver Commemorative Dollar Coin from 1986, celebrating the centenary of the city of Vancouver, which was officially incorporated in 1886. The area, initially known as Granville, grew during the Fraser Gold Rush in the 1860s, and was then renamed to Vancouver in order to honor the British explorer Captain George Vancouver, who first charted the coastline in 1792, following a deal with the Trans-Canadian Railway to host its terminus in this city. The reverse of the coin invokes this rich history, while the obverse depicts the bust of Queen Elizabeth II by Arnold Machen. The coin had a mintage of 124,574 brilliant uncirculated coins and 496,418 coins struck in proof. It was struck from 50% silver. Then, the last entry was not only the overall winner of the Coin of the Year award, but also won the most popular coin category as well. This is the 1986 Gold Half Eagle coin that celebrates the Statue of Liberty's 100th birthday. As a side note, this is the third coin in five years to win the Coin of the Year award that was designed by Elizabeth Jones, the only woman to have served as the the US Mint's chief engraver. This, the first $5 gold coin struck by the US Mint since they were de facto discontinued in 1929, was also the first gold coin struck at the West Point Mint. It was struck in both proof and uncirculated strikes, though the award was specifically given to the uncirculated example, I do believe. With a mintage of 95,248 and an additional 404,013 coins struck with a proof finish. Subscribe to WNN and activate notifications with the bell icon to know when new videos are released. For the world numismatic news, I am Numisman saying thank you for watching, keep collecting, and have a fantastic day.